Hi, my name is Lori Kidd and I'm the manager of Image Recovery. Image Recovery was designed with you in mind. It is a place of hope and healing. We provide a spa-like atmosphere to help you while you go through any physical and emotional changes that you may experience due to chemotherapy treatment, radiation treatment, or post-surgery. You can also come to Image Recovery for a medical manicure, pedicure, facial, massage treatment, organic hair color. If you would like to change the way you look, you can pick out fabulous wigs and scarves and partial hair placement, extensions. We are here for you. My doctor found a lump um, on the left side of my breast. Did a sonogram and from a sonogram to a biopsy, from a biopsy to a mammogram, and that's when they confirmed it was at a stage three breast cancer. I lost my hair, um, and my hair was the biggest part of me, the biggest part of my image. And so it was really hard to see the hair fall out, but the image recovery, they just took me in and they said, we're gonna do anything to make you feel beautiful and to make you look normal when you go out. I'm Lisa Di Pasquale. I'm the cosmetologist here at Image Recovery. We do the head shaving when you're going through chemo. Uh, we fit you for wigs. This is a, a time in their life where they don't feel as strong as they normally would, um, and especially appearance-wise, because they're used to seeing themselves in the mirror as one specific person, and now they're starting to change into someone that they're not used to seeing. So I help to bring that person back in their image uh, and help them to feel like themselves again, and the people that they love to see them as who they are uh, instead of what they're going through. The different scars that I was introduced to at the image recovery, they were very fancy and, and bright and had different selections and I was able to find one that fitted my personality. Now that I have the different options of the wigs and the scarves, um, because we do live in South Florida, the humidity gets really hot. Um, so I was able to either wear a wig if I wanted to go out casually, I would wear my scarves, or when I wanted to wear my wigs, I would, you know, curl it up and, and beautify it and go out and socialize with my friends and family. My name is Bonnie Salmon, and I am a breast cancer survivor. I found out that um, I actually went in for my annual mam mammogram and found out I had breast cancer and that they were going to do a lumpectomy. The surgery was done. We found out it went into my lymph nodes. I went through months of 16 bouts of chemo. I went through all of the radiation. Um, I ended up with side effects of both neuropathy and if you can tell from my arm, I just have been diagnosed with lymphedema. When I came to the Image Recovery Center, the first thing is that I felt like I could ask questions just about chemicals and products and what to wear and, and you know what to use and soap, simple things. And I found out about the um, massage and I came here for massage on a regular basis. I felt like the price was a good price. It was relaxing, it helped me. When I was diagnosed with a neuropathy, it helped me with the neuropathy. And actually it was here, while I was having a massage, that we questioned whether or not that I had the lymphedema. And so it was through here that I knew that I had to contact the radiologist and find out how to deal with another side effect I was having. Hi, I'm Amy Sear, and I'm the acupuncture and oriental medicine practitioner here at Memorial in the two breast cancer centers and right here in the Image Recovery Center. I predominantly utilize acupuncture. I also utilize Chinese herbal medicine when necessary. Acupuncture helps just about all people for all things, but it plays a really fantastic role in the oncology setting by its supportive techniques, reducing side effects, keep their energy level up, especially digestion, to calm their fears about all the different scary things that might happen, right, to help slow them down, mitigate them, and to keep up as close to normal life, things like raising their children, dealing with elderly parents, working. I'm Monica Flores and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I didn't feel anything. I've been, you know, very 
uh, diligent with my mammograms and everything, so I went for my annual checkup with my gynecologist. She was the one who found it. She said, you know, I feel a bump in your breast, so we better check this out. And then they found something also on the lymph nodes, so I got a, a sonogram that day too. Sure enough, it was breast cancer. You know, when you are going through chemo, you cannot use many chemicals. So all the products here at the center are organic and they're safe for us. So I really come here with confidence because I know I can also looking good is very important because, you know, you're already feeling already bad. So looking good is important. And like I said, all the products I've been using here are amazing. I also got some uh, shampoos that are organic too. And not only that, not only the products, because all the stuff here knows how to treat you, how to take care of you, and do the things careful so you don't get uh, hurt or get any infection like you might get in other places. So I feel secure to come here. We work with circulation and blood flow uh, that you wouldn't work with at a normal salon. Um, we kind of work a little bit more internally than just on the surface of things. Um, I help educate them on scalp maintenance, uh, skin care, um, what to expect with their chemo and the changing of their body with their fingernails. Um, Sometimes, you know, their fingernails might lift a little bit, so I educate them on how they need to keep their fingernails short, not using um, unnatural chemicals like gel nails or using acrylics. You know, they need to let everything kind of be natural. I got my head shape here, and it was like, uh, like a ceremony, because that's what it is, a very important part of your treatment. So um, I end up here for the, uh, for the wig, for the shape of my head, and they gave me the wig also, and uh, it was a almost like my hair, so I enjoy that. When a patient comes to image recovery, they're scared, they're hesitant, they want to look and feel like themselves, they're nervous about the change that's going to take place. We like to provide a service where we can fit a wig to look exactly like the hair that you currently have. I got my wig um, before I lost my hair. Um, I came in, we tried on lots of different things, they actually ordered a couple of them for me. One of them came in and everybody loved it and I loved it, but it was a little not me. And then I came back and had it cut specifically for my face. And then I felt much more comfortable with it. I was diagnosed with endometrial cancer, um, stage three. I'm here and I so far I love it. I found everything that I needed here and the support and the ambience of the whole thing has made it very easy for me to uh, go through this change. It was a little traumatic getting here, but once I got here and I saw, you know what, it's going to be a new stage, a new thing, and after the haircut, I love it. I should have done it earlier. <laughs> By the time they finish with our team, they leave with a huge smile on their face and confident that they can go out into the world and be who they are and not let their diagnosis define who they are. I feel positive about, you know, the whole um, thing now that I look so good. <laughs> Your hair always 95% of the time will grow back. Uh, it's kind of like a surprise. You don't know if it might be curly, it might be thicker, it might be, you know, a little different of a color, but it always grows back. Uh, once you are completely done with your chemo and your radiation, your body is done working internally, then it can start working on the extremities a little bit more. Uh, so you will start to notice that about a half inch growth usually is an average a month, okay? So it does take a couple months until you will need a haircut. And usually the first sprouting of the hair from the follicle is very thin. Um, so you might need to, a couple months in, maybe just come and have a little bit of a dusting of your hair so we can just take those little bit of frayed ends off so then your hair can be on a consistent growing pattern and path. When you use the organic, which we use Unesta, which is an organic derived line, uh, when you use natural products on your skin, it helps your hair to grow back faster. It helps it to be healthy when it grows back. And when it does grow back, we use an organic color line. Um, so if chemo did give you some gray, we have some color lines for you that you can cover up the gray and it is organic and natural so it does not harm your skin and it does not harm your hair. My name is Lorna Baxter. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, massage therapist, esthetician here at the Image Recovery Center at Memorial Hospital West. I'm training on college massage, so I treat um, cancer patient who's actually gone through mastectomy or any kind of cancer treatment. I perform chair massages inside the cancer treatment center and also the 
Memorial Cancer Institute where I give 10 minutes massages, chair massages to the patient as they're receiving their, their treatment and it relaxes them as, it, as they get their chemo treatment. I also work at Memorial Regional um, where I do the Look Good Feel Better program and with that it helps um, the patient with their self-esteem, when they're not feeling good about themselves, it gives them um, a two hour class where they learn how to take care of their skin, how to apply their makeup, and um, also how to, to wear their wigs so they feel better and look better every day. The makeup is amazing. Um, I was able to actually get a lesson from one of the staff here at Image Recovery and um, they taught us how to apply foundation, um, do our eyebrows, apply lipstick. It's something to actually boost our self-esteem because not only did the hair off my scalp fall out, but of course my eyelashes and my eyebrows, everything came off. We have here at the Image Recovery Center this gel and what it does is it enhances the application so the patient apply this to their eyebrows and lashes which helps them not to lose it as they go through their treatment. I'm Alicia Palalis and I'm a breast cancer survivor. So I went through six rounds of chemo. The Image Recovery Center was a place that they told me that I could come to get products, makeup and things massage, hair and nails, um, and things of that nature, and also products. So I got um, my lymphedema sleeve after my double mastectomy. They had to remove uh, quite a few lymph nodes, and so that protects um, your arm from lymphedema. And I also came right before my double mastectomy to get surgical bras. So after surgery, there's these special bras that have like these little pockets that they put your drains in them and things. I had a biopsy and then it was determined that I had breast cancer. My oncologist, she said to me, why don't you get some bras and some prosthetics? And I said, no, I don't, I don't really need them. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm 67 years old and I, it's not something I'm worried about. So anyway, she finally talked me into it and the rest is history. They have empathy, kindness. They look at you when they speak to you. It's not like you come here and you're just a customer. You're a person that's had breast cancer. And uh, now I come every year or two for new prosthetics and bras. I also wear a uh, compression sleeve because of the lymphedema and they fit that, I get custom sleeves. And the good part about it is my insurance company covers everything. So I consider myself an extremely lucky lady to know them and to have the care I do here at Memorial. Some of the products here at Image Recovery are covered by uh, most major insurances. Wigs, bras, prosthesis, and lymphedema sleeves may be covered by your insurance company. All you need to do is give us a call and we will find out that information for you and let you know what your insurance will cover here at Image Recovery. The Image Recovery is a place that you would love to visit because not only are the staff here to help you out, but they're also your friends. They care about you, they care about how you feel, and they want to make you feel as normal as possible through the transition from going through chemo and recovering. The patient can be reassured that the treatment that they're gonna get here is gonna benefit them and will do no harm. So I've sort of been a regular the last year and they make me smile and they make me happy and they answer my questions and they've certainly helped me with so many different ways. They just feel confident again. They feel proud of who they are and what they're going through and and it's not all about the cancer anymore. You know, they, they feel like they have themselves back and just seeing a smile on their face and seeing that they have a sense of pride again and being a strong woman in the world. And it's a nice little place that you can come to feel pampered and to feel pretty. I think it's wonderful. This place is wonderful. Um, it gives you a lot of assurance and it, it gives you a lot of comfort that we really need at this moment. What we're here for is to help the patients every way we can to get through their journey and their treatments and the whirlwind that gets 
thrust upon them. You're here most of the times, and you're here for long hours, and they always greet you with a smile face and make you feel good. So it's, yeah, it's like a home away from home. Our goal is to make you happy, healthy, and beautiful. This place, uh, it is like um, going to a calming spa. No matter what you come in here for, you leave relaxed with a smile on your face, and it's the best. I never even knew this place existed, but my oncologist told me, and I'm hooked. We want you to know we are right next door. No matter what doctor you see or what cancer institute that you go to, Image Recovery is here for you.